Do the news with us if he behaves. Otherwise, I'm throwing him out. <laughs> What's Gilbert up to? Has he had his operation? Who knows? You know, when I was watching him on the HBO thing, yeah. I kept looking at the coat because he had this big coat on, this big jacket. <laughs> yeah. And I said, I wonder, is that hiding the extra belly he has from all oh, yeah. that stuff that was going on with him? <laughs> He's it? wearing pajamas still. Yeah. <laughs> still oh, sick. Early. Gilbert had this appendix operation. Like, most people have an appendix operation three weeks. They're back on their feet. Gilbert's been, like, in hospitals with IVs. He's been in for seven operations. He's now wearing sweatpants, and his belly is distended like a Somalian so baby. <laughs> oh, man. Gilbert Gottfried, the comedian. What happened? What's going on now? Uh, I went back to have uh, the muscles repaired. It yeah. became infected. Like your belly muscles. It became yeah. infected again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I had to go man. back into the hospital, 105 fever. Again, 105 yeah. fever. And it opened me up again and let it drain. And, it's and how is it now? Is it still open? Uh, vaguely. Oh, man. I think yeah. Gilbert's going to die soon. Yeah. yeah. I really do think you're going to be dead very soon. I think you're going to live long. I'll be on the cover of People Magazine, Gottfried's Courageous Fight. But you know what's scary about it? You won't even be on the cover of uh, People Magazine. Yeah, I know. That's because that's when Gilbert even scarier. When Gilbert got sick, he <laughs> called me up and he's, uh, he goes, uh, well, you know, I didn't want to call an ambulance because I didn't want it bla you know, pla plastered all over the front page of the Daily News. Right. Didn't Gilbert even make Godfrey, it to Mad Magazine. Then Gilbert called me about three <laughs> weeks later and he goes, could you mention that I'm in the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> no one... <laughs> <laughs> You're not oozing right now in that chair, are uh, you? No. Chair no. You have. <laughs> oh, man. Because I swear, that was the thing I thought of when I was watching the HBO special. I'm like, Gilbert's got on that big coat. Yeah. Were you hiding, like, your belly and stuff? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't wear a regular size coat. You know, Robin and I looked at each other. We said, you know, it's, it's ironic. Magic was ready to play basketball, and Gilbert's still a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> but Gilbert is with us. He has an HBO special tonight, tomorrow night, and Friday night. Gilbert Gottfried, he's also the voice of the parrot in Disney's Aladdin. And uh, USA Up All Night is his show that still continues to air oh, yes. on the USA Network. Very good. Yes. He's a big star now in Aladdin. Big star. Yeah. When he walks in the hospital, they're all, hey, Mr. Gottfried. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gottfried. Mr. Mr. Gottfried, I'll change your bedpan for you. Is, uh, <laughs> uh, Howard Stern coming to visit you today? <laughs> One of the nurses who changes his bedpan comes in and gets all excited. I'm there, and Gilbert goes, uh, please get out. Yeah. I go, Gilbert, yeah, you should be nice to that young black lady because she's going to get you after I leave. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gilbert, calm down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so happy to be out of his apartment. I know. I can't believe your operation is such a mess. I, the, Gilbert it was awful. Gilbert, what does that say, Robin? You were a nurse. A guy can't heal. Uh, it says to me that he has, n you know, no immune system, no, st you know, that there's a very unhealthy body. Yeah, he eats real bad. I'm giving up basketball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's retiring from My basketball. immune system again. is gone. He's retiring again. Gilbert, uh, who will you vote for? Do you, do you ever... Like, I'm going to tell you. You won't tell anyone? No. You don't get political at all? No. I bet you for Bush. Do you vote? I'll, I'll vote for who... I, I'm always for Bush. But, um, oh, no, I'm sorry. I couldn't avoid it. One last Bush joke before he gets out of office. All right. So you're you're not healthy yet, and you're not going to tell us who you vote for. Yeah. Fascinating guess. Yeah. But does he vote? Will he tell us Will that? you vote? Sure. That you do vote. Yeah. All right. Well, of course. <laughs> Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert's immune system is so much more interesting. What a, what a strange diet he's on. He eats only what's free. Yeah. Yes. And this is the kind of health you get from doing Lou Gehrig was healthier. <laughs> all right, Robin, let's get back to the election, and uh, Gilbert, try to continue. Well, let me oh, just I'm say sorry. one final thing. All the networks are pulling out their big guns for the uh, election coverage. Fred, big for... guns. Pull out the big guns. What's wrong with you? <laughs> At CBS, they got the 60 Minutes guys doing the election coverage. Ed Bradley and Mike Wallace. Hey, see, that might get me to tune in. I can't stand Dan Rather. Well, they joined Dan Rather, Charles <laughs> Perrault, and Tony Chung. Here come the big guns, Robin. I, I hear. Yeah. NBC, Tom Brokaw. But you had to tell him. Bryant Gumbel, Katie Couric, and John Chancellor. Wow, those are big guns. <laughs> Did I tell you about the other day riding upstairs with John Chancellor? No, what elevator? was that? You were with John Chancellor? Were we coming down or going up? Yeah. What were you wearing? <laughs> oh, please, I don't remember. <laughs> Mini dress? Mini no, dress. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's, very, he's, he's a very quiet man. Man of few words. Yes. He takes action. <laughs> John Chancellor. Old as Methuselah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the whole thing. He's saving all his energy for those commentaries. Still thinks his career is relevant. I don't think so. Well. And uh, they'll be, all be at the Ed Sullivan Theater covering uh, the election. And then at ABC, they don't have many guns. Peter Jennings and David Brinkley. 
you know what John Tesh from Entertainment Tonight is going to do during the election? Did what? you read about that? No. He's going to be home practicing his music. Is that right? Yeah, for, no, for no apparent reason. <laughs> well, CNN? he's a fine musician. He's the blonde Frankenstein. <laughs> Did you see him the other night on Entertainment Tonight? Yeah. They were interviewing him like he was a celebrity? Well, why were they interviewing him? I don't remember exactly what he was doing. I just happened to see it as I'm walking by. <laughs> yeah. No, he's not the correspondent. He's the interviewee. Yeah, I like when like Mary Hart puts out an exercise video. They interview her. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he was out somewhere playing his music, and his hair was all over his head. And he really looked like Frankenstein when that hair's not uh, combed yeah. and sprayed. He keeps it down with the bolts in his neck. <laughs> 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 yeah. CNN has Catherine uh, Cryer and Bernard Shaw. Catherine Cryer's kind of cute. You like her? Yeah, I think she's ne she's not as neat as Dagny Holt on the E! Network. Dagny Holt, okay. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Cryer is kind of cute, except for what appears to be a bad nose job, so bad that maybe it's not even a bad nose job. Maybe that's a real nose. Hmm. You ever look at her? I've seen her. I didn't notice her nose. I'm not a nose-fixated person. But she's real cute and prim and proper on CNN, and, and she uh, looks like she's got a hot body and knows what to do with it. Talk slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Deliver the news slower. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, what I about love Bernard Shaw? Isn't he cute? Yeah, he loves to give his seed. <laughs> <laughs> they start their coverage at 4.30, as I said before. Bernard Shaw, yeah, he's a, he's a handsome man. <laughs> he's the only black anchor man. Yes. Just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> I guess that's when they're not really concerned with the coverage. Thank you. They, <laughs> uh, when, when it's not when it's not that important an event for the station, they go, "Well, send out the black guy." Robin hopes your wound opens up. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I hope you're draining right now. Right in the you're chair. Infected and draining again. <laughs> what else is in the news, Robin? Also in the news, Magic Johnson <laughs> making a big announcement yesterday. Yes. That he's retiring again. Yes. From uh, professional basketball, and this time it's for good. It is for good this time. He says uh, it was not his health, it was the controversy swirling around his return to the uh, National Basketball Association. A lot of the players, as expressed in a New York Times article this past Sunday, are concerned about playing with Magic. I heard he's going to be hosting up all night. Because of his... Uh, Status as an if he HIV lives that long. positive person. <sighs> he has well, to live till 3 in the morning. Let me make a statement about this, Robin. Uh, first yeah, I of all, feel bad for Magic. Let me just say that. I do feel bad for him. We all I feel understand bad. understand the other players. The concerns of the other players. There was an article in the newspaper. Don't ask me what newspaper because Baba Booey never actually Xeroxes the name of the newspaper. <laughs> But it, uh, there was an, uh, a guy wrote in about Magic Johnson's Bobby. return to basketball, and it really was wrong because he gave a couple of examples. An Italian soccer player contracted AIDS after an injury caused by colliding with another player during a soccer game. Yes, I do recall that story. A woman was splashed on the face and mouth with blood from a vacuum test tube. She had facial acne but no open wounds. She claimed the blood. She uh, cleaned the blood off immediately, but still turned HIV positive. Hmm. Uh, a five-year-old boy in Germany died of AIDS from a blood transfusion, but before he died, he gave his eight-year-old brother AIDS either through casual contact or a bite witnessed by his mother that did not break the skin. Now, these are reports. Are those documented cases of documented. The, the way the AIDS was transmitted? Yeah, Gilbert just handed me this documented <laughs> evidence. I'm telling you, but, uh, you know, there are ways of... Uh, Especially in a because basketball game. Because every doctor has assured Magic that he is not going to give anybody A's by playing basketball with them. And notice not one doctor will play basketball That's with Magic right. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to play. Yeah. A young fellow over there, it's okay, it's safe. Go, go in there and play basketball. <laughs> they had a picture they ran in the newspaper today. Did you see it of Magic Johnson? Uh, I guess he was sitting on a bench while a doctor was, like, preparing a cut. Oh, I saw that cut. a couple of days ago, so they must, somebody else must have picked that up. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, these doctors are examining magic over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's definitely wearing gloves. Put the receiver it. against your chest. Yeah, now, now I'll try and <laughs> yeah, hear if your breathe. heart's still beating. That's now it. cough. Okay. Well, you know, here's what some of the other players had to say about this whole thing. Uh, Michael Jordan said, I guess he looked at it and said he'd rather be remembered as a guy who enjoyed the game, but not the guy who stirred problems amongst his peers. Bob I respect that decision. Um, 
Dr. David D. Ho, a virologist at the... I'm a D. Ho. <laughs> Aaron... I'm Dr. David D. Ho. <laughs> yes. Aaron Diamond AIDS Center in New York City said... Call D. Ho. There is no change in Magic's condition. He's been exactly the same for a long time, so it's not a medical situation. Oh, he had AIDS before, he still has it. That's right. <laughs> well, he's not... He does not have AIDS, as the doctor pointed out yesterday. He's HIV positive. Gary, let me guess. An angry black guy on the phone? No. Baba Bowie. Uh, the conscience of the Democrats for the Senate election. Who? Alec Baldwin. He's on oh, the phone he's again? he's on the phone for Robert oh, yeah, Abrams right. again? Is he really on the phone? Yeah. He just wants to talk in general. Alec Baldwin. Does yeah. he want to talk about magic? That's the subject I'm on. He wants to lend his support to uh, to you when you come to L.A. Oh, he does? Yes. Well, really? Wait a second. Well, well, maybe we will entertain him. Uh, <laughs> wait, we'll get back to Magic Johnson in a minute. <laughs> on our phone is, uh, more importantly than being an actor, he is the boyfriend of Kim Bassinger, Gilbert. <laughs> oh, that's good, huh? Ooh. you got to love that. And uh, let me say that Alec Baldwin. Alec, you there? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, now yeah. I can hear you. Okay. What are you, on a car phone? Yeah, I'm on a car phone. What are you, on your way to the set? I'm on my way to the set. Man, that's great, huh? I'm what? listening to your show. What, are you getting a couple of million for and this I new picture? And I understand you're doing uh, uh, this uh, FCC rally? Yes. Okay, well, count me and I'll definitely do it for you. Whoa, all right. Now you're talking like a man with and sense. That's, now that's, you're talking and that's like re- a man with a brain. And that's regardless of who wins the center race, even you totally boned me on this thing now. <laughs> oh, come on. Let me tell you something with Al D'Amato and uh, Abrams. No, no. Let's not get into that, Howard. You let's talk about... That. All right. We won't get right, into it. Let's get into it. it, it, it just, will, Kim, it just will Kim Bassinger us. be on stage as well? Uh, I doubt it, Howard. Really? What's with her? What's her, what's her problem? I think it's hard for her to be like a, uh, you know, a public figure and a female and support you, Howard. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something, Alec. The fact that you will come up and make a speech... Yeah. In my behalf, uh-huh. when we stand there in front of our fans uh-huh. in Los Angeles, right. when we stand in front of thousands of people, right. the fact that you are willing to take the first step as one of the major celebrities to get up there Absolutely. Uh, certainly gives me the courage and uh, fortitude to fight on in my battle against the United States government. Cut the bull, Howard. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's good ratings. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll, get a, we'll get a cut out of some other people, and we'll just put them up there. Nobody will know the difference. Okay? And get the rest of your fancy friends to show up, too. Uh, I'll work on it. You know, they're all worried about causes. Here, the United States government is intervening in the arts, and I'm oh, an well, artist. Well, you, oh, if you want to talk about intervening in the arts, D'Amato is not your friend. Oh, well, here hey. we go again. Hey, let me tell you something. I knew friend. this would lead us right back no, but down well, this well, let's, not, let's not get into that. You don't let's even live in New that. York. You don't I, even I, live I, in New York. I don't even live in New York. When's the no, last... Let me tell you something. How many movies do you do a year? Uh, maybe one or two. One or two, and those movies take a couple of months to do, don't they? Well, it depends. You know? So for a minimum of six or seven months a year, you're not even in New York, and Kim Bassinger doesn't even live in hey, New listen, York. Hey, what, what are you talking about? Of course I live in New York. You don't live in New York. How I dare live in you? New York. I'm, a, I'm a legal resident of New York. Then he says to me on the phone the other day, right, he says, don't vote for Senator DeMondo because we, in New York, we pay out more taxes than we get back. Meanwhile, where's the senior senator, the Democrat, uh, Senator Moynihan, on all of this? That Alec doesn't tell you. Moynihan was the one who commissioned the report that told us. Oh, story. oh, he good, good work. So he told us that nothing's happening. No, he told us. Meanwhile, he's there. I can't even find this guy. Demato Demo- Demo- commissioned. I mean, uh, Moynihan commissioned a report with the with the Kennedy School of Government. And I tell you what, Alec. the fact that we're not getting that money. But let's not talk about. Maybe this. we it's should shut up until the clear. rally is over. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't want you two to have a falling out here today. Not at all. I'm, I'm calling to offer my support. <laughs> well, to you, thank Alec. you, and I'm going to tell you something. I greatly appreciate that, and that is the sign of a true. Uh, a true what, Robin? Friend. A true friend. And I look true forward... Mensch. A true mensch. I look forward to meeting Alec Baldwin when we're out there in Los Angeles, one of the many celebrities who will be appearing at the uh, L.A. Uh, rally. God bless you. I'm uh, going to be in L.A. Can I lick your fingers? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Let me tell you something. You know Gilbert Gottfried, Alec? Yes. Do you like him? Yeah, he's interesting, yeah. Oh, he's interesting. He's interesting. How, what would you do to Kim Bassinger, uh, Gilbert? Oh, no. What would you... Hey, bring a picture of Kim. Yeah, with you, Alec. Oh, yeah, that's... Hey, Alec, bring a picture of Kim. Is Belzer going to be there? Uh, Belzer, we're going to try and get him over try there. Try to sure. get him there. All right, you like Belzer. Oh, I love Belzer. Hey, he's got a nice-looking wife, too. She was in a porno movie. <laughs> Lady Chatterley's Lover. Is she in volume 1 through 20? I believe so. <laughs> okay. But uh, let me tell you something. Uh, you're a lucky man. Well, thanks, Howard. And God bless you, Howard. All right, my friend. I'll talk to you soon. Alec Baldwin, everybody. Ciao. Ciao. Uh, ciao. ciao to you. Ciao to you. <laughs> 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 well, there, that's very exciting, well, Robin. Chow, it says chow on his car phone. <laughs> chow. <laughs> chow. <laughs> All right, Gilbert, you shut sorry. up. Nobody's interested yes, in I'm you. Sorry. One of our friends, Gilbert. <laughs> yeah, Gilbert, no, you're not but, our friend. But he found me interesting. <laughs> <laughs>
What'd you say to him? You want to smell his fingers? Yes. Lick. No, I want to lick his fingers. Oh, I'd like to chow on Kim Bassinger. What yeah. do you think of that? I want to chow on Alex's fingers. <laughs> hey, I'm going to Kim Bassinger, boy. I got to tell you, man. That's something else, huh? Gilbert Gottfried will be on an HBO special tonight, tomorrow, and Friday. I would ask him about it, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what it is. He stands there and tells jokes. Are you doing a stand-up on HBO? Oh, yeah. Oh, all oh, right. Oh, well, Gilbert's oh, a great stand-up. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 boy. <laughs> Robin, you're going to have to wear rubber panties at the big uh, L.A. show because... Uh, would I have to be? wear those anyway. Because, yeah, well, oh, you yeah, wear... Yeah, Robert, you have them for, for another reason. Because you're attracted to Alec Baldwin. I've seen him before in ah. person. Oh, you ah. have? <laughs> Never where he hugged you. That's and... just shaking hands with Alec Baldwin. <laughs> you're attracted to him, right? You find I think Alec Baldwin. Baldwin is wonderful. Right, you would make love to him. I didn't say I'd make. Why would I make love to a person just because I think they're wonderful? Well, I would. Show him your kluge. <laughs> Are you going to show him your kluge? Here we go. Are you going to show him your big black kluge? <laughs> Thank you. <Gilbert. laughs> Shut up. All right, we'll be back with more news right after these words. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried here. HBO special tonight, tomorrow, and Friday. Watch for him. He's also the voice of the parrot in the Disney's Aladdin. The voice of the parrot, Robin. Now, there's work I'd like to have. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that must pay good, doesn't it, Gilbert? Hi, I'm a friggin' parrot. <laughs> and, and Gilbert doesn't he even doesn't try to... He doesn't have to change his no. voice. He's Gilbert. No, yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Do some parrot, seriously. Yeah. Do some of your lines it's from my, the It's just my regular voice. Yeah, but say something, as you said, as a parrot. God, I don't remember half of it. Come on, say something. Hi, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Hello, Aladdin. Hi, Timmy. What's monster, Aladdin? What you yes. doing? Come on, say something. It's a Yiddish parrot. Yes. Quelle <laughs> 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 All right, and also you'll be on USA Up All Night, as you always are, on Saturday nights. You you yeah. are on one Saturday night, and then the, the bimbo is on the other uh, yes. Saturday night. Yes, your so favorite. you alternate Saturdays? <laughs> yeah, he has every other Saturday. Gilbert used to get that show every Saturday night, but then they had some bim uh, come in with the big breasts. Oh, no, she does it Friday. I do it Saturday. Oh, That's okay. That's what I yeah. thought. I thought they had yeah. different days. Yeah, real talent she is, huh? <laughs> And a good interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's well, fascinating. Yes. <laughs> Howard, we were talking about Magic Johnson. You're just about to give me your views on that whole situation. On uh, Magic Johnson? Yeah. Well, I will say this, that uh, Magic Johnson was a great basketball player. But uh, this is a man who has contracted the HIV virus. And he must uh, sit this one out because there are other players who uh, do not have the HIV virus. And it, it, this is a contact sport. This is where uh, bodily fluids are exchanged. Oh, can I show up? <laughs> Bodily fluids are exchanged, as you know, Rob, and I think you would agree. Well, um, it's a rough game. It's a rough game. There are cuts, abrasions. Talk slowly. And uh, the, the exchange of the HIV virus is possible. And a lot of the players did come forward and say, well, actually, one of them did, a guy named Carl Malone, right? Yes. He came forward and said, hey, look, I'm a little uptight about this. So Magic uh, is backing out again. You know, there's also... Uh rumor going around a very strong rumor that magic is gay i know i keep hearing it myself now i've been reading in the tabloids this week that magic thinks that the rumors being spread by his once very very good friend isaiah thomas yeah because isaiah is upset with magic for not pulling strings and getting him on the u.s uh olympic team do you think you robin you've said to me in private that you think magic is gay i have yes you said <laughs> to me the other day and i said why, why do you say that you have no proof whatsoever <laughs> you said well i always and i know friends who know him and, and, no, and, yeah I never come on said you anything did anything about any friends who knew him you I you, know you did too magic johnson oh, you're lying that. does Wait he enjoy musical comedy <laughs> does he go to theater a lot <laughs> let's give you a test does Things magic a lot of show tunes. does <laughs> magic johnson go to see la caja <laughs> or man of la mancha or any of these plays big Liza fan. It's a big Liza fan. Big Liza fan. <laughs> and he loves to shop, right? Yes. <laughs> Why, I loves to shop. I loves to shop. <laughs> and I, I have the soundtrack to Gypsy at home. <laughs> <laughs> Let me entertain you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a real good time, yes, sir. You're not gay, are you, Magic? <laughs> no, no, I'm not gay. I just enjoy Judy Garland a lot. <laughs> And I saw Wizard of Oz 5,000 times. Well, I done in interior decorate mine house. Yeah. I um, happen to be very graceful being an athlete. Oh, well, I do not believe that Magic Johnson is gay. Well, I don't 
don't either. I don't know why you're trying to slander no, me. No, you did say it. You know you did, and be honest about it. You felt Magic Johnson was gay. I don't feel anything. I said that sources had come to me. Right. And said they definitely knew he was gay. And who are these sources? I can't reveal my sources, Howard. I have to get information from these people again and again and again. See, I just dress very well. I love to wear chiffon dresses. <laughs> no, I do not believe he is gay, and I don't think... Well, uh, uh, on a, in an interview on, I think, 2020 this week, or someplace, he's going to say once again that he's not gay. No, see, I go 50-50. <laughs> yeah, not 2020. <laughs> he says he's never had gay sex at all. Well, I'll tell you this, Robin. Uh, I don't uh, mean to sound paranoid. I know that uh, HIV-positive people can do very many things in our society, still function. But one of them is uh, basketball is a tough sport. You can't exchange bodily fluids. And uh, well, also, it's, it's a similar question to, do you want a doctor operating on you who's HIV positive? Absolutely. I, I don't want uh, I don't want to play Scrabble. My doctor I don't want to play Scrabble with a doctor who's <laughs> HIV positive. <laughs> I guess Gilbert's doctor might have been, because Gilbert can't yeah, heal. Gilbert he can't. gave me half price, so I figured, what the hell? No, I'm in here telling Gilbert that he's got to start eating differently to, to heal his yes, immune system. Yes, really? And uh, he was, like, listening to me seriously for uh -huh, the first time. Yes. He was like, yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like, Gilbert, you have to eat no butter, no dairy, no nothing, you know? Well, I'll do that. You know, lots of uh, <laughs> fresh vegetables. Yeah, I was like, Gilbert, I healed fruits. myself with salads and fruits and fresh vegetables and... Oh, would say, well, where am I going to get those? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even go out and buy myself a thermometer. Get, can you get that in a can? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to buy bread. Well, one of the famous comedians told me they were up in Gilbert's apartment, which is a very rare thing. Gilbert, when, if you know Gilbert, he tries to keep you out of his apartment. Right. Yeah. Another, he's like Fred. Yeah, he's like, if you're with him and he goes, oh, i got to stop up my apartment. And then someone says, hey, I'll come with you. And then Gilbert says, no, 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 just wait down on the floor. I'll, I'll just be right yeah, up. I'll, I'll leave you in the car. But someone told me they went up there and it's just like lawn furniture. Lawn furniture. Well, this was interesting because there was lawn furniture on the stage of your HBO special. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's his thing. It was filmed in my apartment. <laughs> and then there's also, like, just, like, Chinese food boxes and pizza boxes all strewn over. all over the floor. Oh, my. And what are those stuffed birds doing there, Norman? Yeah. <laughs> but, m mother. And Gilbert's stomach is wide open, so if magic lands in New York, Gilbert's, <laughs> Gilbert is done for. That's true. They're in the same state. All right, what else you got there in the news, Robert? <laughs> well, there was an AIDS protest at the uh, quail, uh, Bush Quail Campaign headquarters here in Midtown Manhattan yesterday. A grisly one because the emaciated corpse of a man who died of AIDS was placed in front of the campaign headquarters. You're kidding me. No, I am not kidding you. Wait, the body of Mark Lowe Fisher, a 39-year-old architect and a member of ACT UP. Yes. He said that he wanted to have a political funeral. Yeah. So this is what they did with him. They marched him up to the wow. uh, Bush uh, Quail headquarters and sat him down on the ground and held a rally there. 250 people shouting, uh, silence equals death. By the way, if ACT UP is looking for another body, Gilbert's is almost ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were also screaming, Mark Fisher died of AIDS. Where was George? Well, they have a good point there. I mean, I believe AIDS should be on the front burner. I mean, it really should be. It's in the blood supply. It's, it's all over the place. And uh, I think it should almost be like uh, we, they should be whipping us into a frenzy. Yeah, we should be in a war mode here yeah, because yep. we have uh, an attacker. Yeah, I agree. Bush staffers locked the doors of their official headquarters on the 14th floor. No comment uh, was all they would say uh, through security staffers. And later, four staffers went downstairs to look at the corpse. One of them said, oh, that's disgusting. What's wrong with these it's people? Like Paul Lynn. Right. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Samantha. She and a co-worker giggled <laughs> aloud and then returned to their office. So not a lot of sympathy coming out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know there's that guy over in Jersey who claims that the Virgin Mary visits his place. Fred Norris? <laughs> at the beginning of the month? Yes. Well, now he can't stop this horde of people who flock to that area every uh, month. This time, 2,000 people made their way to his backyard trying to get a glimpse of the Virgin Mary or to be healed or something. Mason and Sheen in Albany are trying to get uh, the Virgin Mother to show up at their backyard <laughs> so someone will listen to them. That's the only hope they have. What is it, Gary? Our, oh. our audience must have a delayed reaction because now here's the angry black woman and she's oh, particularly angry at Magic Gilbert. Johnson? Oh, very good. Magic Johnson, that Gilbert portrays all blacks as stupid and illiterate. <laughs> well, what else can he do? By the way, uh, many people don't know this. Jesus actually was spotted taking going to the bathroom across the street from Gilbert's apartment. So if really? anybody wants to uh, visit. <laughs> Go there. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, what is your problem, please? My problem is how 
there you have a little no talented rotten gut smurf like that Gilbert. Me? <laughs> sit there and the try to denounce somebody of Magic Johnson's statue. Howard, Howard, you are like totally funny. And I'm like, what do you, you mean, Magic as a Johnson's? Black person, Gilbert, you should just shut up because you have no talent. No, no excuse career, me. No, uh, no. What do you mean, Magic Johnson's okay. stature? I mean, Magic Johnson's a basketball player. Why do you hold him that. in such high regard? That. But I hold him in high regard because he is a role model for a lot of black kids. And just he like is the, the worst kids, role model for black kids. kids. You don't like that go around he... robbing and being bugs. If no. they would pattern themselves at the magic except for his unprotected sex, no. then you wouldn't have to cry no. out every day about the little muggers in the little pockets. May I say magic. so? First of all, that he is the worst model, role model in the he world. He loose sex. But you know what? Uh, no, not for loose sex. sex. You heard a black man you and Andy. son of a gun. <laughs> freaking Gilbert gets big parts with his rotten gut. That's why he's never going to heal because he's so full of non-talented slime. You little short midget, no talented. You don't have a career. You'll settle for any little garbage they throw at you. I'm a studio singer. I get more parts on TV than you. And you're not funny. That's why, you, that's why Alec Baldwin didn't give you any credit. He said he loved the other guy. And he you to find you interesting. I find somebody's rotten gut interesting. Well, no, oh, yeah. hey, no cursing here. That? That, that's not a good role model. Now, first of all, Whoa. I am going to say a few words now. I allowed you, you to. Wanna, you want to lock us into a stereotypical? I role. allowed you to talk. I'll allow me to your talk. Freaking butt, Gilbert. Now, now, you little faggot. Now, hold it a second. <laughs> You're not funny. And I saw you on a, a, a different world. I don't even know why they gave you that part because it was so you. It was so you didn't even have to act. So that's not acting. Yeah, well, you know the you way these black casting people are. You played a little bigot, <laughs> a big-headed bigot, little smurf, and that's what you were. So you weren't acting. That's like how it says when a deaf woman plays a deaf woman, she's not acting. What? You played a big-headed little dumb smurf. Well, I'll tell you something. You're right. Gilbert is a dumb smurf. But <laughs> other than that, you're out of line. Um, let me tell you what I think about Howard, what you said. By the way, I'm in love with you, okay? Yes, I know. But let me say what I have to say. And now I'm 5'10", and I'm really like your type. If you were to like a black woman, I've got You both. do windows? <laughs> no, but I kick ass. I'll whip yours. Would you mind doing Gilbert's windows, he wants to know? No, but I wouldn't mind mopping up the pus behind his rotting gut. Why don't you do a little kingfish for a driver nut? Well, uh, hello there, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, who you know, the you know, you're really not funny. Um, you're not it's funny you really that. You know what, Howard? And not only that, I live next door to Kid and Play. I mean, yeah. Play from Kid and Play. Would you and like they, to date, Gilbert? They, they, like, hold you in such high regard because they say you like, funny up the air and stuff. Don't would you like do that. To, would you don't like to date, Gilbert? Don't his no-talented limits of humor. All right, let's address what you've said so far. Now, okay, first of all, as far as... You are. Let's all right, I'm going to hang up on you because you don't let me talk. talk. Do you Let still make pancakes and pancakes here? Oh, excuse me. I'm out of this conversation, too, Gilbert. I'm over here with you. Now, where was I? I am going to say something. Uh, first of all, Love, you regarding, never be with him because regarding you. your comments about Magic Johnson, he is not a black role model. He is the That's worst so black true, role model. He is, Howard. Allow me to talk, I said. I listen to you, yes, now listen Daddy. to me. Yes, Daddy. I'm going to hang up on you. First of oh, all, any time you have a black family that sits and idolizes basketball Nobody players, idolizes I said idolizes basketball. No, no, that is the picture oh, you would like God. to put up. Do you play basketball, him. ma'am? Nobody all right, idolizes thank you. him. Thank you for the call. That he's <laughs> but she loves you, Howard. <laughs> Anytime there is a black family that sits there and they, they drool over these basketball players, most kids, most black kids will not become basketball players. They need to idolize accountants, lawyers, doctors. This and, is other their <laughs> and other Jews. And other Jews. Yes. <laughs> they need to idolize Jews. Yes. No, no. What they need to idolize... I tell all black people, look up to the Jews. No, I know black accountants. Uh, I would go black, to them. Uh, Excuse me. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got too much money to take it to a black accountant. Well, like, well, you're a different case. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a little bit of money, it's okay. Yeah. Now, listen to me. There are black accountants out there, black lawyers. These are the heroes, the everyday heroes. Black cantors, black rabbis. And this is the important thing to remember, that you're not going to become a basketball player. He is no role model. All he can do is jump up and down. With a stupid ball in his hand. That's what I do every night. And that's fun, and that's, uh, you know, that's, that's really neat. It's a skill. It's a skill, <laughs> but uh, it's one of those skills that you don't particularly earn.
Either you got it or you don't. You got, you're blessed with the height and the whole thing and the coordination. This guy's no role model. He's a big, dumb basketball player. That's nothing to aspire to. But he is a role model. He is a role model, you know, Tan. Oh, shut up, <laughs> you, but I kick your ass. <laughs> I kick your ass. Because he a role model. You know, it's funny. She wants to get rid of stereotypes. She's down there kicking your yeah, ass. Yes. Really. <laughs> All right, what else we got in the news, Robin? Let's, come on, let's get to some Well, I was stuff. telling you about the guy over in New Jersey who had the 2,000 people come over to the house the yes. other day to see I if the Virgin, that Virgin Mary was <laughs> The Virgin Mary was there. Yeah. And he's getting into a lot of trouble. You know that a couple of months ago he had to install pay, uh, those uh, portable toilets on yes. the land because he got into trouble. So many people were coming and defecating in the woods and in other people's <laughs> lawns. Well, Gilbert prayed for a cure for his stomach problem. Yeah. <laughs> And so that they made him put up toilets for all these people, and then, you know, they had to develop parking for all these people. So it's caused them nothing but trouble. They should so take far. all those people and put them in the funny farm. Can you imagine actually spending your day? Now, I have very little free time. I don't know about you. <laughs> but can you imagine spending your day going to some guy's house in Jersey because you're going to believe that the Virgin Mary is going to be there? Not only that, let's say the Virgin Mary shows up. You're in the middle of waiting for Virgin Mary. You go into the woods, and you're taking a dump. <laughs> and the Virgin Mary shows Seize up. You. It's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, that's right. <laughs> Virgin Mary, is that you? Oh, this is awfully bad thing. <laughs> Here I am in the middle of a dump. Oh, please let me wash my hands so I can shake hands with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just became so nervous knowing the Virgin Mary is showing up <laughs> that I had to... Don't. I had to take a now major dump. Now, why is it black people up there in New Jersey? Because that's the only funny Jersey voice Gilbert Mary. does, besides the Gilbert voice. Uh, excuse me, Mary. Pass me some leaves. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most embarrassing moment of my life. With the whole hand Virgin Mary. Holy macro Virgin Mary. Oh, I just had a bag of barbecue potato chips. Oh, this is so embarrassing. You did not bring Jesus with you, did you? Oh, boy. Whoa, I dumped on my Reebok. <laughs> oh, don't look at my right, screen now. <laughs> not. All right, where so were anyway, we? Anyway, <laughs> uh, let me just say this that uh, now he's discouraging people from showing up. He'd rather people oh, not boy. come because it's so disruptive to his Please own life. Please don't show up. <laughs> life. Oh. <laughs> and it's also. Oh, my God, stay away from this house. It's also hampering a Catholic church investigation. <laughs> Don't tell apparition. me the church is showing up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're trying to determine whether this is a real thing or not. I see. What are you going to try and determine? Yes. Aww. Is Moses going to be here? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Two for one. <laughs> Let me see what else is going on. Oh, the boy, there I go again. Nation's <laughs> Supreme Court is uh, the court that's going to be considering the Santeria question. Excuse me, Robin, I have to get ready for the arrival of Napoleon and Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln going to be oh, here. Will you just keep your hand under your jacket, Napoleon? Because you don't want to shake my hand. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I hope Abe Lincoln doesn't show up. Oh, dear. oh man. Hey, where am Columbus, Gilbert? <laughs> I hope he don't navigate his way over here. <laughs> <laughs> he show up, I'm in a compromising position. I told you a couple of weeks ago that the city of Hialeah. Yeah, Hialeah. Hialeah there. <laughs> Mr. Virgin Mayor. Well, uh, Hialeah. I'm here with my pants around my uh, ankles. <laughs> Hialeah. Turn your back on me, lady. What is it, Baba Bowie? My ears are burning from oh, the angry black people and the angry Catholics <laughs> calling in the office. Oh, no. But this is a, this is a, this is just a guy who's been to the shrine. Oh, you been oh, to yeah. you went to the shrine? Yeah, I was there. Mm, wipe me, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Now, what did you see? Um, I didn't see anything. I'll be I'm honest with you. It was juicy right now. Oh man! What were you doing? Hanging out, just trying to get a girl or something? No, no, no. no. You I know, was... those religious <laughs> girls are easy to get. The ones who believe that the Virgin Mary is going to show up. I was looking for a good sixty-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> I went down there. It's right by my house, so I decided to check it out. Yeah. And uh, there was a lot of old people there, uh, a lot of a lot of religious yahoos. I saw a license plate. You know, you ever see the top of the cross? It says I N R I. Yeah. I saw a license plate like that. Uh, I saw a crazy woman lay down in the street and started screaming. They thought she was having a heart attack, and they took her away. Yeah. 
Don't you know, she was just was hysterical. It was uh, it was a joke, and there were people peeing and crapping all over the place. <laughs> right. <laughs> Excuse me, Mary. Oh no, hi, Leah, there, Mary. And, all right, thank and, you. you. Know, they, were, they were doing uh, they were doing the rosary, and they were uh, doing the rosary for aborted babies and things like that. I don't know. I think it's <laughs> real. Oh, <laughs> well, this is a good thing for a neighborhood, don't you think? Maybe we should get yeah, down there. Pretty Robin. wacky. Yeah, that's good. That if you live next door to yeah. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, lady. Can I borrow your rosary? I'm having a problem. Oh, oh man! Oh, will it never stop, Virgin Mary? <laughs> <laughs> oh, will I never see the end of this? Oh, oh man! No. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, Leah, there, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> will I never see the end? <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Bye, bye, bye. I'm yeah. having a revelation here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm trying Go ahead. to move uh, on. Hi, Leah, hi, Leah, Florida. Where they've been having a problem with the religion of Santeria. And I'm having a problem with the dyer here. <laughs> <laughs> they put a ban on all animal sacrifice connected with the rituals of this church. So uh, the church members have taken the city to court, and it's finally reached the Supreme Court. Lord Mary, what did I eat? Oh, <laughs> no, oh, oh, come on. We're talking about something else now. Story yeah, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with you, sir? You, you Get it out. Are you done? Am that corn that I was eating? Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I done saw a peanut shell in there. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you. Ernesto right, Pichardo, however, yes. is a Santeria priest and devotee of the warrior god of thunder, Chengo. Oh, there's some thunder coming out of me. All right, it's enough with that already. <laughs> Come on, stop it. You're going to pop your stitches. And he says the occasional sacrifice of a goat or a I chicken pop my bridges. <laughs> is a religious rite. Yeah of the Santeria Church, sanctioned by the Constitution, because, you know, we have religious freedom in this country, a tradition <gasps> for centuries. Can you imagine we have a religion in this country, we're allowing it, where people can go around killing goats, all in the name of religion, <laughs> and, that, and that they believe that that's going to help them a get to goat heaven? just walked by me and died. Oh, he man. got this, this, <laughs> this <laughs> priest got into trouble when he tried to open the church of the uh, Lukumi Babalu I, I just had a Lukumi Incorporated. <laughs> Let a lakumi out of my butt. Oh, Baba man. Boy. Lakumi Babalui? Yes, that's going to be Baba the name Bui. of the church. He wanted to open it in a used car lot. Lakum, Lakuma Babalui? Babalui. <laughs> Lakum. Babalui. 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 <laughs> and uh, he was going to open it uh, across from City Hall, but that's when he got into trouble because they closed him down because of the animal sacrifices, I suppose. And now uh. it's going to the Supreme Court. Uh, that's funny he says, stuff. This is not just about Santeria. This I is did about not know that. all religions. <laughs> so everybody should uh, pay attention. There are 70,000 devotees of Santeria in the Miami area alone. Well, I would certainly drop a knit over them and drag them into the Everglades. <laughs> yeah. <Yuh -huh. laughs> <laughs> also in the news, Audrey Hepburn, the. Uh, Actress, best known for Breakfast at Tiffany's and My Fair Lady. I wish I had breakfast somewhere else. <laughs> oh, man. She is in the hospital, Gilbert. You should be able to sympathize with this. Oh, uh, that's very serious. Oh, that's really... You <laughs> know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to I, make a joke. Old joking aside. <laughs> <laughs> you know how serious hospitals yes, can be. Oh, you mentioned hospital, Gilbert gets real serious yeah. now. Nothing well, funny there. You know, now, Howard, I think you're really... Uh, Gilbert's here during the commercials telling me, yeah, well, they, uh, we said, do they shave you each time? He goes, no, uh, while I'm out they shave me while oh, I'm under dear. the while I'm under the anesthesia. <laughs> so he never even <laughs> no, knows he, when they shave. He wakes up shaven. <laughs> <laughs> I know what they're doing to Gilbert under the operating table. <laughs> well, uh, Audrey Hepburn had a, a tumor removed from her colon yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was terrible. She's oh 63. man, I feel like Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Gilbert, ever have a tumor removed from your colon? <gasps> no, but I feel one slipping out right now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> they don't know. They didn't reveal whether it was uh, cancerous or not. Mm. At first, they thought she was uh, suffering some, from some kind of amoebic uh, parasite contracted in Africa. You know, she's always taking all those trips for UNICEF. But then they discovered this uh, tumor. <laughs> I got an amoebic parasite <laughs> in my colon. I have a parasite. You know that? Yeah. No, Gary. No, dear. <laughs> Baba <Bowie. laughs> So, uh, they've, uh, you know, we're, I guess we're on a watch for... Uh, 
<laughs> Ms. Hepburn, hope she's all right. Oh. Also, remember this story, Howard? This uh, happened a while ago, but they finally got around to uh, the trial yesterday. A Queens jury convicted a 21-year-old man of murder and other charges for killing his six-day-old son. Oh, yeah, I read about by this. By throwing him to the floor and then feeding him to the family German shepherd. He killed his son and fed him to the dog. Yeah, he cut him up and started to try to give the parts to the dog. What's the guy's name? Um, Babalu. Jason. <laughs> Jason. Radke or something like that. Guilty. Radke. Yeah. <laughs> of Ridgewood. Oh, please, with the sound effect. <laughs> the dog is very well behaved otherwise. Oh, dear. <laughs> Watch, you know what they'll do? Anthony on August 10th, 1990. He'll cop an insanity plea. He'll get off with the dog they'll kill. <laughs> the you dog's probably see. already dead. Yeah. Did, you know, it's taken this long to get him to trial. <sighs> Anthony's mother, Linda Boyce, was not charged in the case. She told investigators she slept through the entire incident. Yeah. The judge called the crime despicable and revolting. Or the attorney, uh, district attorney, called the crime As regusted. This is and asked and that he received the maximum punishment <laughs> for second-degree murder, which is 25 years in prison to yeah. life. This guy has a history of doing this. In 1983, he fed his mother to the family uh, for Thanksgiving. Oh. <laughs> Cut her up like a turkey. And somebody sent me this from the uh, <laughs> the Diamondback, which is the University of Maryland college paper. Yeah. This woman protesting uh, what she termed rapes and the oppression of women at the hands of the ancient, corrupt, and self-deluded fraternity system. Right. So what's her point? <laughs> costumed herself as a vagina. Right. And Ooh. placed a hex on the Greek system. hey <laughs> During a I, performance I did not art know presentation. That, <laughs> that yes. both shocked and offended many student observers. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Jake True, a 23-year-old returning student, performed a 45-minute three-character piece, which included the 100% domesticated vagina. Really? I know uh, Gilbert went one year as uh, genitals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hot trick-or-treating, yes. She screamed in frustration, flogged a sack filled with objects including a female doll and hot dogs on the ground. Right. She dragged a series of sheets through her vagina costume opening. Yes. And she danced before the audience waving the sheets. Well, this is a very popular Jewish holiday. That's <laughs> Simchas Torah. Yes. You dress up as a large vagina. First you blow the ram's horn and then you dress up. Do you know our uh, intern Ganji, Mike Ganji? On Halloween, he went as a um, schwinkter. <laughs> she says she uh, put the hex on the Greek oh, system. Oh, I'm having a, I'm having a hex on me now. Hoping oh, to bring man. about their destruction. She says, I what don't want them to change. I want to destroy them. Right. During the performance, several fraternity members shouted profanities at True, calling her a bitch and the C-word, while other members exposed their genitals and shot her moons, according uh. to the students present. Sounds like Gilbert's <laughs> bedroom when he finally gets a girl in it. <laughs> so, uh, I guess her performance with the uh, fraternities didn't go over too well. I'm going to shoot you a moon. <laughs> Could she send me that big vagina outfit you wear? <laughs> You'd like to see that. Yes. Well, that's like what's happening. I'd like to put it over my folks. doorway. All right. Well, Gilbert Gottfried, we uh, look forward to your big special tonight, tomorrow, and Friday night. Do you uh, address your Ill recent illness in the special? Oh, no. No, you don't bring anything personal. No, no I yeah. can't do that. No. It's <laughs> much too painful. That would be against his philosophy. I gotta wipe my nose. I gotta wipe my bud. Oh, oh man. <laughs> hey, Gilbert, give me your shirt for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, can you bring me in a tissue? You're built to serve. Bring me in a tissue, boy. <laughs> Here, boss. Here, boss. Here, boss. Here's your tissue. Uh, here. Here, use my socks. <laughs> here, use my Baba hats. Baba Bowie. Thank you. Oh, nice napkin. <laughs> Baba Bowie. Well, Baba Bowie, uh, Gilbert will be on his HBO special tonight, tomorrow, and Friday. And uh, he's also the voice of the parrot in Disney's Aladdin. Have you seen this? <laughs> no, it hasn't come out yet. When will that be out, Gilbert? Oh, well, uh, I don't think we have to joke about something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing funny about that. On the 11th. On the 11th of November. Yes. And we'll be able to yes. see you in your first cartoon role. Yes. And you play Gilbert. Do you yes. do the Gilbert voice? You don't put on a special yeah. voice. No. All right. And uh, also, Gilbert will be on USA Up All Night. That's Saturday night. Everyone's looking forward to that. I'm actually going to watch Gilbert's uh, HBO special. Have you seen it? I saw parts of it right. on Sunday. 
Gary, have you seen it? Yeah, it's really, it's really good. Yeah, really good. It's really, <laughs> really good. Gilbert, Gilbert's great. In. He's it's a very funny comedian. It's very funny. Fun of me. Very funny. Baba <laughs> <laughs> Booey. When I watched it, I went woof, woof, woof. <laughs> 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 Jackie the Joke Man Martling this Friday, November 6th at the New York Comedy Shop in Parsippany, New Jersey. For dirty jokes and info, call the all-digital 516. A midget picks up a hooker. 922 <laughs> Wine. Jackie's big show at the New York Comedy Shop. And Thursday night, Jackie moves over to Bananas Comedy Club. This is November 12th. <laughs> this is in the Fort Lee Holiday Inn in Fort Lee, New Jersey, where you try to stump the joke man and perhaps win some prizes. Robin, don't forget about our new video. Oh, I won't forget. 1 800 52 Stern 3495. Uh, get your credit card out and order it now. But Bongo Fiesta. The exciting new video. And uh, you must be 18 or over to uh, order this. You get your 3D glasses. I just saw the box because uh, they're, they're going out in the mail now. They're actually being delivered. People have gotten them already. Yeah. And uh, they put the 3D glasses on the front of the box covering my your face. picture. Yeah. Oh. So I'm having them shrink wrap it to the back of the uh, box. What are they thinking of? I don't know. I'll, get, I'll smack them around. Boy Gary this Friday night at Buddy's Sports. Oh, uh, brought to you by Infinity and uh, me, the uh, videotape. Boy Gary this Friday Baba night Bowie. at Buddy's Sports Lounge and Merrick Road in Wontorbos. And this Wontor. Saturday night, the Nassau Coliseum for the Long Island Custom Baba Car Bowie. Show. Don't miss Stuttering John at the Hop in Totowa, New Jersey this Saturday night, November 7th. Pig Vomit will be playing this Wednesday at Bazookas. Jimmy Fink just working his way into the room, pushing everyone over because it's important that he gets to the records. <laughs> <laughs> got an important show to prepare for. Hey, there's a man who loves his work. How you doing, Jimmy? It's important you Good got hour. in here, right? And make sure you made Don't your way do right that over. Show here. prep. Right. He <laughs> had to knock Gilbert over to make sure he got near those records. He was a sick man. Don't hurt him. Yeah. Pig Vomit will be playing this Wednesday at Bazookas in Bridgewater, New Jersey from 7 to 10. Pete Fornatel not in today? No. Uh, I guess I guess it's over, it's taxing him this all this playing the records. Pete Fornatel, what a hard job for three hours a day. He has to spin some discs. Today he couldn't show up, Robin. Mm, well, his... he needs a vacation, don't you think? Yeah, everyone needs a vacation from a tough job like that. <laughs> Join Scott the Engineer every Friday night for Classic Seventies Disco Night at the Country Club, two hundred nine East Eighty Fifth Street. And if you need a mobile DJ for your wedding or Christmas party, call Rocket Entertainment from anywhere at seven one eight bag fifty forty. A member of the American DJ Association. Well, uh, it is election day. Oh, Joan Rivers is going to be at uh, Trop World in Atlantic City, November 6th, 7th, and 8th. Mm -hmm. December 27th, 28th, and 29th on QVC. And December 6th, Joan's Christmas sale. That's what you got to get into, Gilbert. Oh, yeah. Selling jewelry. <laughs> you need another uh, product. No, I got models. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You still doing those commercials? Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are good. Those, that's that's got to pay him a lot of money. I would think so. Although I don't think people pay Gilbert a lot of money because he'll do anything. And uh, I answer the phone, I go, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Working against himself. Right. He never turns anything down. Models? Oh, yeah. I, I play sports. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right over. I'll do your commercial. Yeah. I'll endorse anything. I want 10 grand. Oh, yeah? Well, we only had like three. Oh, Fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's okay. For all the commercials I just want. Well, Gilbert must make money. You don't see him, you know, everywhere. We'll give you a free football. All right. You don't see him everywhere because he, no one asks him to be there. <laughs> so how is he living from gig to gig? You know what Gilbert's biggest dilemma is? He loves money, but he hates people to see his apartment, so you offer him money to photograph his apartment. Ah, and then he would be, he, it would, his head would explode. Yes. <laughs> well, Robin, we did a good job today. It's our election day special. There you go. When we we did as much coverage as we could. When we wake up tomorrow, maybe we'll have a new administration and less FCC heat. It should be interesting. Interesting article by David Hinckley today in the paper. Did you see it? I didn't think it was very committal. No, it wasn't at all. He started with something, and he didn't go all the way. Yeah. He says, for FCC, a fine time to pick on Howard. He says, I'm sure it's just coincidence that the Federal Communications Commission announced its $105,000 Howard Stern fine a week before a presidential election. Under George Bush appointed Chairman Alfred Sykes, after all, the FCC had been warming up for years. Finding radio stations $2,000 here or $5,000 there over naughty parody songs and the like. So really, it's just coincidence that suddenly it nukes Stern's L.A. outlet for remarks 
that in the age of Madonna and Geraldo are hardly even verbal jaywalking. <laughs> okay, so Stern has become a, the, the, uh, become a national symbol of pushing the envelope at a time when Bush wants votes from everyone who thinks things have gone too far. But really, I'm sure it's just coincidence that the FCC sent this $105,000 message at the exact moment voters are making up their minds. Well, since uh, Bush needs New Jersey so badly, I can't figure out why he needs Jersey. It's got a lot of electoral votes. But he needs it's it so badly. State. I hope that my, uh, we are number one in Jersey. I hope that my millions of fans in Jersey will vote against this guy because he's targeted me. And if you enjoy this show, you'll do me a favor and vote for Clinton. And that's all I got to say about it. And it's a state that traditionally votes Republican, but he's having a hard time holding on to it. Because I'm very serious about it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Who are you voting for, Jimmy Fink? Clinton. Who? Clinton. Clinton man? Jimmy's so super rich, you think he'd go for Bush so he'd keep his taxes low. Jimmy willing to kick in his fair share. Is that right? Yeah. Good for you, Jim. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah right. probably most of the, his money they can't <laughs> touch anyway. It's probably uh, locked up in uh, tax freeze. <laughs> The Fink uh, fortune, of course. The Fink bakeries. Ever hear Fink bakeries, Gilbert? Oh, yeah. That's Jimmy Fink. And he doesn't even have to go to work. His brother runs the company. Jimmy just gets like a couple of million a year to stay out of it. <laughs> My brother's not voting for Clinton. What? My brother's not voting for Clinton. He's not? <laughs> I don't think so. No, because he has to work for a living. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is, Robin. Anything you want to add? No, that's it for me. That's it. Fred, anything you want to add? Let's do the commercials. All right. Can I play a song on the way out? Yeah, go ahead then. I wanted to play something from that new live ACDC album. I thought it was mm. great. I've been listening to that. I love it. Oh, you took it home, huh? Yeah, I took it home. Well, Brian Johnson did autograph it to me, Robin. I yeah, he did? Yes. How dare he? Well, you feel that he should have uh, given it to you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> How dare he? Uh, I tell you what, uh, do we have a copy of that around? I'll play a song from that. Jimmy, what do you think of that album? You like that? I haven't heard it. You haven't heard it? I'm sure it's good, though. What are you going to do today? Are you going to play a few records? Yeah. That's got to be tough. <laughs> if you just in a guided defeat and close to the edge. Play a lot of long ones. Yeah. What do you got there, Gary? Oh, there we are, Robin. Robin, by the way, I didn't tell you this. What? Brian Johnson also autographed one to you. Oh, he did, but you didn't give it to me. I have it right here if you'd want it. I forgot to give it to you, all right? Ah, there see there? Right. Keeps everything for himself. Stashing it away. <laughs> well, I was going to play um, either Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Mm. Or? You Shook Me All Night Long. Or um, Back in Black. Well, we heard a little bit of Back in Black the other day. How about, uh... You shook me all night yeah. long. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. Is that okay with you, Jimmy? Well, Bon Scott really sang a Dirty Deeds, so maybe this is it's somebody else singing. It might sound pretty cool. But this, this no, do that on your show. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing Dirty Deeds done... Uh, no, I'm doing, um... Shook you shook me, me all, all night, night long. Okay. okay. Gilbert, a big ACDC this, fan. This one might be real cool. <laughs> real might cool. Might be real cool. Might be the song you've been waiting for. Uh, yeah, this. I think this one sounds real cool. Gilbert, uh, when he's banging uh, two women at the same time, plays ACDC in his bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> A little live. Uh... Yes. Here we go. Oh, man, where did that crowd come from? It is the Virgin Mary. Oh, man. <laughs> right here at the concert. <laughs> hey, stop applauding. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, How right. could you do this to a man? 